everyone welcome to my channel and today if you clicked on this video of course you can tell I'm going to be doing a demo and review on the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect foundation this is one of their newer foundations on the market and as the title says it's supposed to be a concealer and a foundation pick this up on beautyjoint.com for ten dollars and 49 cents which i think was pretty reasonable that is actually in u.s currency by the way and i mean i think that's a pretty good price it does cost a little bit more if you are residing in canada but i think it still is worth it So I did pick it up in two shades, which is 0910, which is the one that I have on right now. And I also picked it up in amber, which is number 11. And this is actually two shades darker. Now the reason I did that was because I had to watch videos to find out, you know, um, what foundation color I should purchase because I don't have a store that actually carries these in Canada so I think I'm going to use this one for my summer shade when I'm a little bit darker so I mean either way I'll make them both work so if you're interested in seeing my thoughts and first impressions of this foundation go ahead and stay tuned because I'm going to jump right into the demo I'm just going to go ahead and prime my face with the Revlon Photo Ready Prime and Anti Shine Balm. I tend to just put this in the areas where I tend to get shiny and oh wow. I'm a combo oily girl so um, I pretty much get oily in the T-zone only and the other parts of my face like over here on my cheeks stay dry. So because I'm also one of those girls that gets the smile lines, depending on the foundation, I do have the Makeup Forever Step 1 base, and this is the smoothing primer. So I typically like to put that into my smile lines. Now for the fun part, I'm going to move on to the foundation and I'm going to be using the color tan because I feel like the tan shade matches me the most. Yeah, I'm just going to pump like, I don't know, let's start with one pump and that's how much you get for one pump. So I don't know, I feel like that might not fold my full face, but we will see because I do have um, a lot of like darker marks from acne to put this foundation on I'm going to be using a nice dense brush and I'm going to be using the Morphe E31 off the bat it does look like it is going to be a pretty good shade match I'm hoping because I don't want to look crazy out there looking all gray but yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on it does seem like it is a very thick formula and I can tell that just based off of how it's blending It does seem to be blending pretty good and I feel like this foundation has like a slight smell like almost fragrance like to me to it I'm not sure yeah it does almost smell like a perfume um, those types of things uh, they don't normally bother my skin but if you are sensitive um, I would probably you know be a little bit wary of that and maybe do like a swatch test on your hand or whatever and see if you get an irritation first before you put it on your face second pump here because I did have some marks that were still showing through so I'm just pretty much gonna build it up in those areas only so I don't want to look like cake face so I only put extra coverage in the places that I need it and like for example right here I'm hoping you guys can see let me zoom in a little bit more so basically right here I have like a darker mark just above my brow here and I am just stippling up some more product right there because I want to see how well this concealer thing works I'm also gonna build up some more onto my forehead 
All right guys, so I'm pretty much done putting on the foundation on my face and I feel like this is like a dead on match. I don't know, tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. But I am a MAC NC45 if you guys are curious. Um, so if you have to pick offline as well, I would recommend the shade 09. And, um, it does look very nice. It doesn't look do it at all. I feel like this is probably, let's see. I feel like this is probably like a demi matte finish. I don't know because it's not completely matte, but it does have like just a slight sheen to it. Um, and of course it does feel a little bit tacky on the face. Um, I'm thinking because maybe it hasn't set fully or maybe that's just the nature of the foundation. I'm not sure, but I do like what it looks like so far. And of course the coverage was really nice. Um, after just building it up on the areas that I needed it, it was pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my face and then I'll come back and show you guys how everything looks. All right, hey guys, I'm back. So here's how the foundation looks. I didn't do too much just because I'm just going to school today, doing some studying for my exams. I pretty much set it with my MAC Studio Fix uh, powder foundation, put on a little bit of a highlight, and some gloss and some mascara, and that's pretty much it. So I am gonna be doing check-ins. So right now the time is 9.28. You probably can't see that, but I'm gonna show you anyways. Yeah, it's 9.28. I'm gonna head out the door in like, I don't know, the next 10 to 15 minutes. So I will come back and show you guys how the foundation looks later on and show you guys how exactly it held up through the day. Cause you know what, these guys are making some um, oil free and sweat proof foundation claims. Yeah, we're gonna see about that. Hey guys, so I am back for an update with this foundation. I did pull my hair back as you can see because I want to show you what the foundation looks like. So I've had this foundation on for roughly five hours. So it's not really a full day for most people. Most people probably go out and work for about eight hours. So this is what it's looking like after five hours and I have to say I'm kind of surprised um, at how it's holding up. Now that we're zoomed in, you can definitely see how my skin is different. Right here you can pretty much ignore that because I did put a highlight on so it is going to have a kind of a sheen effect. You can definitely see how my oils are starting to break through, especially on the, the forehead area right here um, and on the nose of course, like right here on the little crevices and you know just a little bit in this area as well not so much under my eyes but just like right here i don't know i mean it doesn't look completely horrible i could still wear this and i don't look like a complete grease bucket or grease monkey but um yeah you can definitely tell that there's a little bit of oils coming through Hey guys, so I'm back to show you my next update of the foundation, how it's held up. I don't know if you can see it right now because I haven't zoomed in for you guys, but my face is pretty greasy, like especially in the forehead area right now. Like I'm looking in my um, computer monitor right here and I can see like a shine going on in this area right here, over here in the T-zone. So yeah, I'm quite oily. I did not touch up at all because as I said, I wanted to definitely show you guys how the foundation holds up for eight hours. I have to say I'm a little bit shocked or disappointed. So don't mind the bottle, but I really felt like the Milani foundation was going to be like my CoverGirl 3-in-1, which I really, really love this foundation and whenever I wear this foundation, it's just like flawless and it usually stays matte like pretty much the whole day and I don't even have to do touch-ups if I don't want to. But clearly this foundation is not. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can get a better look at how this looks. All right, so here we are, we're zoomed in. So especially in this area, you can see it's really um, breaking through here. And again, on this side, on the crevices of my nose you can see the shine and again the forehead 
I'm sure someone could see the reflection in that. I'm gonna go ahead and give you my final thoughts of this foundation. So let's first address the claims. So they do say this foundation is a medium to full coverage. That I can agree with. Um, it is a foundation and concealer and I did find that that helped with my darker marks on my face. I didn't have to build it up too much. So it did work really well for me as a foundation. In terms of it being a concealer, I don't really feel like I would run out and get this in a lighter shade and put this on my under eyes or just use it as a concealer all over just for the simple reason of it being a thicker consistency so they did also make a claim of it being lightweight and oil free i don't really know about the oil free however the lightweight i can't really agree with that just because it does feel like I have a foundation on my face. I really feel that when people hear the term lightweight, they're not going to think of a foundation that's super thick, which this foundation is, and they're going to think of something that's a little bit more like maybe your L'Oreal True Match or your Maybelline um, matte and poreless or any of those other like lightweight foundations, something that gives you like coverage but isn't super heavy next claim of it being lightweight and what or sorry not lightweight long wearing and water resistant and sweat proof i personally i don't have like super super oily skin as i said i'm combo so oily and t-zone other areas as you can see they're dry there's no shine there so i don't have problems with my foundation just sweating off so i can say that it is long wearing water resistant i didn't really test that out so i can't really say about that now sweat proof i don't really know about that whole sweat proof claim because as you can see right now i'm looking like a grease monkey so i don't really agree with the claim of it being sweat proof it might work different for someone else maybe someone who has dry skin but in that sense then is it really sweat proof i don't think so and for me being a combo to oily girl and having this much oil i can only imagine someone who actually has oily skin so they're oily like all over how would they look at this point in the day however my thoughts overall I think this is a good foundation. I think this is probably gonna be more an everyday foundation, maybe even more so in the winter just because I feel like it's heavy. So you're not gonna wanna wear this in the summer because you're gonna feel like you have a mask on. And it also has a great range of um, colors. Surprisingly, there's a lot of shades, well, there's probably like three, four, maybe even five shades that are deeper than this one. The other great thing about this foundation is that it is also very affordable. The last couple of pros about this foundation that I want to mention is that, as mentioned earlier, it does have a pump and it's also like ergonomically designed, I feel like. This pump does allow your finger to fit very nicely on it. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it, but it does have a little groove that kind of like dips in and your finger just sits nicely within that spot. The other great thing that I wanted to mention about this foundation is it also doesn't really settle much into my fine lines, which I think is because it does have a thicker consistency. I do definitely appreciate that about this foundation. Let me know your thoughts about this foundation and if you tried it, what your experiences were, and how you feel about it because I really thought I was gonna love this foundation, but I mean, it's just okay for me. It's, so overall, I can't really say that you should run out and get this foundation. I don't think that this foundation is like groundbreaking or anything. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. And until next time, we'll see you again. Bye.